Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to be showing you how to create and configure an instrument track in Pro Tools. So in the previous tutorial, I explained to you how to create a MIDI track. And uh, we learned that MIDI doesn't really contain any audio. Now, MIDI can trigger the audio engine of either a virtual instrument or a synthesizer so that so that they can actually produce the sound that we want to listen to. So we can do that within Pro Tools with an instrument track. How do we create that? Well, if we go to Track and then New, we're going to select here on this drop-down list Instrument Track. We're going to make it Stereo. Just one, it's fine. We're going to leave it in Ticks. Uh, when you're working with instrument tracks and MIDI tracks, I advise you to leave it in Ticks. That way, if the tempo changes, uh, the speed of your track also does. And the name, we're going to set it to Piano. We're going to press Create. And we can, we can see here, here's a track called Piano. It is an instrument track. Okay, We can see it because, as you can see, there's this little piano roll here. You can see these little piano keys. You can see the white and the black keys. And this actually looks a lot like the MIDI track. Now, what's the difference? Well, if we go to our mix window, we're going to see a couple of things here. Um, first of all, there is this little icon down here that looks like a piano that tells you this is an instrument track. Okay. Um, back here, as I said, you could see the actual piano keys here that tells you it's an instrument track. Um, or a MIDI track, but the difference is actually up here. Um, you can see it says instrument. Now, what this guy does, what this track does, okay, is that it gets MIDI record into it, it processes it through an instrument, and it's going to output sound. And you can see that because the meter, now the meter is actually in decibels. Okay, you can see... Here's 0 dBFS, and down here, you know, minus 60, minus infinity dBFS. So the input to an instrument track is MIDI, but the output is audio. You can also see here the output says output 1 and 2, which is an analog output, um, telling you that's going to output sound. So what's the next step? Well, we have to go in, into our inserts here. And on the first insert, we can click there and select an instrument, a virtual instrument. In this case, we're going to select Pro Tools Mini Grand, which is the default piano that comes with Pro Tools. It is loading. Okay, it is loaded. Um, there's a Mini Grand. It is, it is loaded as a real quote-unquote model. It has a chamber set as a room, and then the mix is at 32%. And the level is at plus 5 dBs. Now, how do we test this? Well, if we record enable this track and we press a key in our MIDI controller. Oh, there it is. Sounds like a piano, right? Yes. So, check this out. This is very important. This meter down here shows the output. The output is sound. So, you can see... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a meter that shows you decibels. You also have pan pots, which is something that tells you, hey, there's some audio going out here. Now, up here is a little, teeny little small meter. I'm going to press a key here so that you can see it. That teeny little meter looks just like the MIDI meter that we had on the previous MIDI track. Why? Because this little meter, it's actually metering MIDI information. It is, it is metering how loud you hit those keys. It's showing you the velocity of each of those keys that I'm pressing. So up here, you have MIDI. Down here, you have sound. Now, keep in mind, the output of this track, it's an analog output because it's going to output sound. But the input, it's all the way up here. It says MIDI input selector. It is set to all, which means that any MIDI control that I have control, uh, connected is going to send MIDI information into this 
track, in this case, into the Minigrand, and then it's going to be processed by the Minigrand plugin out of that Minigrand plugin as audio um, th through the channel strip out of the fader and then out one and two analog. That's pretty much the signal flow of the instrument track. So it is set to all, but I could actually go here and set the input to only receive, let's say, from the channel one of my Arturia Mini Lab, right? So that way, the only information that this instrument would respond to would be the first channel of my Arturia Mini Lab MIDI controller. Now, I have it set to all. So pretty much if I press my Arturia or I press any other controller that I have connected, this track will respond. So that is the instrument track in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was very helpful, guys. And keep in touch. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.